Hi there and welcome. This is Nellie Deutsch and I'm really excited about Kalassian. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of how to record your screen in a few very easy steps. So we'll get started by getting an account on Kalassian. If you have an account, of course, you log in. Next, you're going to go into Home. Under Home, you will see these options here in the center, but you're going to click on the first one. Next, you are going to start screen recording. In order to do this, you need to first of all get rid of the presenter and then you can get rid of anything else that's here. You don't need that because you're going to have your very own screen shared right here in the center. Next, you're going to get rid of the script because you'll be giving the script. Now, notice at the bottom you will see no script ignore that. You don't need to worry about that. And you don't need to worry about the presenter's name with the voice here because that's going to stay there. But don't worry about it. Don't try to get rid of it or anything like that. Okay, narration only. That you can indeed add. Next, you're going to go to the record button in the center. So click on that. And then you're going to choose your screen. I'm going to choose this one. But before I do the screen sharing, I'm going to make sure that it is recording. So we'll choose from the Chrome tab. Notice not window or the entire screen, unless you want that. I'm going for the Chrome tag because that's what I want to share. Click on that. Now, as I said, you're not going to start anything. Right now, you're just sharing the screen, but you haven't started the recording. So let's go back to the app, to Colossian. And notice you can see your screen now in the center, but you're going to hit record audio and make sure that you have your audio set here. Okay, mine is Yeti stereo, but yours will something else. And then you go on to record. But notice you have to go back to the screen. So make sure that you hit this, but you go back to the screen here at the top left. And here we are. So welcome to Integrating Technology for Active Lifelong Learning, where you can get free professional development. And these are the courses, and you can see them as you scroll down. They're all based on a category called months. So December, January, February, and so on. And you can see that there are about 17 courses, at least one per month. and um, for 10 months actually, because June and September, I'm off. So there's nothing available here, but you can continue working if you happen to be in one of the courses. They're all instructor led by myself, except for two that you can work at your own pace, uh, maybe the, during those two months when there isn't an instructor led course. One is free screen recorders and your AI and education, and there may be more coming. Two of the courses are paid courses for $15 a month. One is Admin of Moodle, and the other one is Creating Bots, which will be available in July. There it is, A Bots, and you can see the P there for payment. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, either go back to Colossium or stop here. But I'm going to go back to Colossium. That's the easiest one. And then simply stop recording. Hit that. Next, you're going to see your recording coming up and what you can do with it. Here we are. We can play it, OK, and uh, make sure that it's what we want. We can also trim it there. But we're going to hit done. We don't want to retake it. And here it is. Notice the script. It's there, but it's going to disappear when we hit generate. And notice our options here. We can add interaction, interactivity, and you can see by action button, which I love, because that takes you back to the scene where we were on integrating technology, multiple choice, branching, and so on. I'll let you explore that. Right now, we're going to generate. So we're not going to add anything right now. Now, you don't have to wait around because you get um, an email notifying you when it's ready. So it's ready. OK, there we are. We can download it as a video, MP4, as an audio, which is absolutely fantastic. 
if you want to um, add the audio to an avatar, if that's your next step. And of course, the closed captions and the script as a PDF file, which is wonderful. You copy the link and you share it. Notice this is how you go back. There's also a draft. So if you'd like to work on it and make changes, you can work on the draft. So let's go back to home. So under home, notice um, what's here. There it is. And don't delete the draft. Keep the draft because you never know whether you'd like to use it or not. Because once you delete the draft, you're not going to be able to do it, even if you click on the original. So uh, sharing, notice, again, download and all these things that you can do with it. And of course, you can share it from here or click on the share button here. I love the fact that there are a few options. And notice uh, you can do it on social, okay, using these or get an embed code that I love because this is what I usually do. And I add this to my Moodle site, the one that you saw before. And that's it. Enjoy Colossian. It's absolutely amazing. So easy to use and you can do so much with it. Can't wait to see your video recordings.